Okay, don't know if you know about auto select. It's a feature that I rarely use, but it does come in handy. I was just sitting here and I want to use this Photoshop in that other one I'm working on, but I want to remove the frog cart or whatever it's called, the frog in the cart. And I'm sitting here looking through all these damn layers and groups and stuff, and I, I just can't find it. I mean, if I sat here and looked a lot more, I could find it, but a quick way to find it is to select auto select and then click on it and there it is frog cart I can turn it off but in this case I want to delete it because I'm redoing this Photoshop again without it so I'm just gonna delete it anyway that's how you use auto select now once you use it make sure you take it off for example if I want to move the barbecue frog this is the barbecue frog and I click on the layer to move him well I don't know if you can see I'm moving flares I think that's called flares I'm moving something else because when I clicked here the flares are there and that layer was this layer the flares so once you use it it's best to take it off and that way when I go back to barbecue frog and I move him I don't know what the hell those numbers popped up for I can move the barbecue frog if I had auto select on and I went to move him I'm gonna move something else so make sure you turn it off anyway that's a quick little way to show you how to use auto select